All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Here we are, November 1st. New moon energy sitting right between Halloween, All Saints Day, Day of the Dead. Deep, intense, lots of energy in the cosmos, lots of transits, lots of things going on. Can you feel it yourself? We are in this struggle right now, going back and forth, trying to understand where we are in humanity, not just only ourselves. So it is important right now to go deep, ask the questions, notice where you're showing up, notice the patterns. On the, um, on the podcast this week, I have an awesome interview with Barbara Hancloud, who has a 20th anniversary about the nine dimensions, alchemy of the nine dimensions. She's a wisdom teacher. She's 80 something years old. The conversation is so amazing. And really one of the points that she really hit on was when we hold on to those old emotions, when we hold on to those old wounds, it's really hard to advance in consciousness, to lift our vibration. We keep spending the same thing. And the reason I bring that up right now in such a perfect podcast interview for where we are is that Scorpio energy is deep. Where it is in the houses is deep for you as well. It's asking us to go in to those inner resources and look at this stuff. So it could feel intense. The darkness could feel intense, but we have the opportunity to balance it with the light. And as that new moon comes in, even though we don't see that new moon, it opens us up to that new cycle. And it is an opportunity to notice what is keeping you stuck? What is holding you back? What are you feeling? All my life I heard from my mother, quit your crying. (laughs) Stop being so sensitive. But really what we're finding out now is that the emotions we hold and that sensitivity is important. It will give us messages to what we want to do and what we want to feel and how we want to grow. So I do offer that you do spend some time today, tonight, over the weekend, and go deep into your soul and just ask, am I living my path? Am I doing what I want to do? Or am I holding on to some of the deeper resources that keep me stuck? I know personally, I've had to look at a lot of that. And I also know by using these tools, the tapping and the Reiki, all of the tools, we can ease ourselves out of feeling that intensity. And right now in humanity, that is what is going on. We're in this huge shift. She talks about this on the, on the podcast between now and all the way into the new year of really breaking free, but we've got a lot of this energy, old energy pushing on us. So your light and how you shine it can help, can help balance that out. It's easy to get caught into the distractions, everything going on right now. It really is. So we have to hold ourselves really strong with our practice, coming back into grounding. You may notice you're more tired, go to bed earlier. All of these things are really important to take care of yourselves. We're moving through endings. We're coming to that deep part of the year, the winter, when our ancestors talk to us. All of this is really, really important so that you can move forward. So what are you noticing for you? Where can you shift the intentions you're putting out? Where can you shift, especially how you're showing up? I know for me, I have been really pushing it for myself, really talking about my power, where I am. I've been bridging my spirituality with my upbringing and my my religious beliefs. Very interesting. But bringing that with me and as I show up and as I'm not afraid, even if the tears fall, it is okay. And this is how we will break through. So that Scorpio moon that comes in now is asking these big questions. It's wanting to help you to recognize this is soul work. We don't have to put judgment. And I think many times, at least that's what I've noticed, we judge ourselves for the mistakes of the past, if you want to look at it that way. But really, they're not mistakes. Instead of judging, loving, loving your soul, loving your ancestors, even if you have difference of opinions. You know, I know I got into it with my nieces about this this political situation, really trying to help them see, if anything, the energy of our mothers and how we can make this shift and change right now. 
but it's not a time to divide. We both had to like kind of go, okay, I agree to disagree as much as it hurt my heart, but I came back into my soul. So where are you with all of this going on right now? What can you let go of and just continually come back into your heart and love yourself? So as we go through the meditation this morning, we're going to tune in, have some time to write down some of your intentions. And then what I'd like to do is have you gather that energy and just do a little dreaming. I'll guide you through a little dream time as we talk about intelligent wisdom, through dream time to see yourself opening up with these intentions. We work from the heart, try not to work from the mind so that you can be guided with the strongest force within you, which is our heart. Right beneath the heart is the deepest part of us, is our soul. Notice what you notice, all right? Finding something to light. Got everything going on here. Just take a deep inhale. Just for these next few moments, just allow yourself to center, to let go of the outside world. Allow the, fi the fire to transform the energy, pulling yourself in, noticing the smoke, the element of air, centering, cleansing, taking a nice deep inhale and exhale, calling in the element of water. Let the water rush through the emotions, opening the heart, calling in the element of earth, grounding, centering. Taking a deep inhale, breathing up the body. And as you exhale, breathing all the way back down, slowing down. Inhaling, expanding that breath up the body. And as you exhale, call all your energy back into you. Call it in. Inhale, expanding the breath up the body. And as you exhale, start to feel the alignment as you call in the spiritual body to align right on top of the emotional, the mental, the physical bodies, all centering. Inhale, expanding the breath up the body. And as you exhale, dropping into the heart, right into the deepest part, feeling that connection. Your spirit, the greater spirit, source, creator, God. Know that you are loved, guided, protected, feeling all this energy coming in around you as we call in our Reiki masters, our teachers that have come before us, calling in the archangels to open the heart with joy and love, Calling in the crystal beings to feel our energy, amusement, magnification. Calling in the higher self to line right on top of the crown to receive these messages of your soul. Taking another deep inhale, breathing all the way up, expanding beyond the crown. And as you exhale, right to that higher self, right into the body, all the way down, calling in absolute light, streams of grace, grace for your soul, grace for all the traumas, the hurts, the pains. Let it just flow. Let it rise to the surface so it can be cleared. And now expanding from the heart, opening through the aura all around, just breathing, exhale, breathing it back in. Inhale, expanding, noticing front, side, back, side, all through the aura. Exhale, breathing it back in. And again, inhale, moving energy as you open the breath, open the aura. Exhale, back into the heart. Now, right here in the heart, this is where you want to set those intentions. Maybe they're the ones you've been working on. Renew them, refresh them, give them new light from your heart. Maybe there are some new ones. Taking a few moments, writing them down. I intend, I am. And that positive frame of seeing yourself bringing these towards you. Feel them in your heart as you write each one of them. Add 
one in for your health. Add one in for the state of joy. Add one for standing in your truth, your voice. Each one, feel them coming into the aura. And now as you're ready, gathering up that energy, imagine just pulling it right here into your hands. As you hold them in your hands, we start to bring in the energy of Reiki all through us. Sending it through you right into the hands, right into those intentions. We set this energy out ahead of us. Han Jin Se Shonen, Han Jin Se Shonen, Han Jin Se Shonen, setting it into action. And now holding these intentions, closing your eyes right from your heart, dropping out of the mind into the heart. And now feel yourself moving into these emotions, into these intentions that align with these emotions higher vibrations. See yourself stepping into it. Feel them coming in. How do you want to feel? Let it lift that vibration as you hold this light for you. Receive these intentions from the heart. Not only do we put them out, we bring them back in. Just like Reiki, a giving and a receiving. Receive them now. Under these cosmic forces, the star people are alive. Our ancestors are calling forward. The wisdom of your soul, all the many journeys you've taken, is guiding you, we honor with gratitude. Activating this energy for you, your soul. Let it be like magic. Feel it going out, coming right back in. Notice. Taking a deep inhale. Exhale right through the heart. And as you do, expand these higher vibrations, the joy, the love, the abundance of your intentions, activating this energy all through the aura. And now feel that energy coming right back into you, holding it in your heart. Let the illumination of your third eye open up. Calling in the energy, the Archangel of Gabriel, to open up that third eye, to let it be illuminating for your path. Feeling Gabrielle's energy all around us this morning. Holding that vibration. Dream it into existence through the heart. Let this aura magnetize. Let the pure love of the archangels guide us. Open up. 
open up to the guidance right through that higher self bring it in show me Trust. Take a deep inhale right into the heart, holding it in the heart with all these intentions. And then exhale right through the solar plexus, your power, your strength. I am. And again, inhale, a little more. Exhale through the solar plexus. And again, inhale through the nose, a little more. Pause. Exhale through the solar plexus. And again, inhale. and exhale with each of your intentions do this inhale exhale inhale exhale One more. Any other messages came in, write them down. Know it to be true. Removing any obstacles. Sehaki, sehaki, sehaki. Empowering you to show up. For these intentions, your word, your agreements with yourself, shall gray, shall gray, shall gray. Taking another deep inhale. Exhale all the way down deep into the earth as we ground this through the body, grounding with Mother Earth, tapping it into the body right here at the eyebrows. I am, side of the eyes, manifesting my intentions. I am attracting through high vibration, health, joy, happiness. I am in my voice. I am showing up. I am attracting. I am loving my soul, my path, me. I am healthy, happy. I am present to my life, my path, my power. I am, one more round, I am owning my work, getting visible, showing up, feeling my soul's guidance. I am happy healthy, wholesome. Right here at the Karate Chop, I am choosing to love and accept myself no matter what. Release the breath, take a nice deep inhale. Hold it. Exhale all the way back down, deep into the earth, grounding yourself. Bringing the hands right back up to the heart. Take a moment of gratitude. 
Gratitude for the cosmic forces that always will guide us. Gratitude for your soul, connection with the greater soul, spirit, God, creator. Gratitude for showing up for you. Take another deep inhale. And exhale all the way down. Feeling grounded in your energy. And we'll just take another moment. Sending energy out all around us to the collective. Asking for the highest good to come forward as we move through this next week. Shine your light. Hold this vibration for the highest good for the collective. Inhaling and exhaling all the way down, grounding once more. Feeling the shifts within you and as you're ready, blinking the eyes back open, coming back. Take this vibration out from your heart into the world. Have a great day. Happy new moon and all that comes with it this month. To your spirit. Namaste.